What's up everybody, Ryan here. No AC service call, thermostat's blank, all the breakers are on, not sure which unit it is. Disconnects are on. Which one has the issue? Let's find out which one it is. All right, I opened up all three units. Of course, it's the last one I opened up. I believe we've got a blown fuse or something. I've got no 24 volts at the control board, 460. And we'll do some testing and see if we've got proper voltage, but I don't believe we do. My five amp fuse is not tripped on the uh, transformer. So let me uh, check some voltages here and we'll go from there. Yeah, I'm missing a leg. I should have 460 between each leg and I don't. Here I have zero, 265, 265. So I'm gonna have some blown fuses. Oh geez, rusted. There we go, oh yeah. 25 amp fuses, we'll go ahead and test those. And I'm gonna make sure we have power coming into the top of the disconnect. All right, guys, these two are blown. I do have 460 between all three legs coming into the top. Let's start finding out why. What blew the fuses? I'm gonna pull this blower compartment door, just get a visual on it. Probably got a blown compressor. We won't know until we open it up and look. I got her open. I don't smell anything. Wiring all looks decent. I don't see any rubbed out, burn up wires nothing that would have caused two fuses to blow i'm gonna move on from here we're gonna test it electrically but i'm gonna look at these compressors i'm gonna pull the plugs we'll check the windings see if anything shorted the ground both compressors test good electrically nothing shorted the ground so we'll get these plugs put back on and we will continue to search and see why these fuses blew Something caused it. Make sure those are getting good and tight. Yeah, I was thinking a uh, good possibility the uh, compressor was shot, but that's not the case. Both the fan motors spin. I'll bring you back when I find something. I've got this powered exhaust on the economizer. Motor spin, I got them opened up here. This black wire is our power in to the fan motors and something doesn't feel right down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this access panel here. I think we're gonna have some burned up wires. Got it opened up here. Looks like they're due for some filters as well. Here it is. Plug is all burnt up. Wires are melted off see if I can get some access to the other side. I'm not sure if uh, we just had a loose connection here at this plug or if the motors are bad. Let's take a look here. And we are just tied in to each leg. Red, black, and white on each leg of the 460 coming in. I'm guessing we either have a bad motor or we had a loose connection at the uh, at the point where the plug snapped together. Heat will melt the wires. The next thing you know, you got a wire melted off and it looks like it arced. It arced right against the side of the panel there. Boom. And that's all there was for those fuses. I got her off. The wires are long enough that uh, I could just set it down. This one. It's the one that's all burnt up. There we go. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Let's see if I can get that out. Because if we come back to replace, we're going to have to either replace this plug or knock it out, put a box connector in, run my wires through it, and wire nut everything together. But let me pop that out so I can get some pictures. All right, I got it out. And as you can see, it got awfully hot. It melted the plastic and everything on this side. 
this side of the plug doesn't look too bad looks like it got a little warm right there but it's not melted so I'm gonna dig in a little further I'll be back right, guys I had to remove this center piece here to just gain access to the relays the relays themselves I don't see any burns or anything like that so I'm gonna pull the wires and we're gonna test the motors themselves and make sure they're good electrically basically sitting in this thing now I got both the relays out and this one the contacts are open to these three up top and when it calls it will close the other set of contacts to bring the uh, motor on this one looked like it was the opposite they're all closed if you can see that they should be up at the top contact and uh, so I took the cover off and what I found is this this relay is welded closed at least two of the three I'm trying to pull up on that boom it's welded so I don't know if this welded shut see how this one can move that one's able to move the center one and this one over here there it is I just broke it free boom so they're gonna get two new relays oh that ain't good that motor's no good that motor's no good this one doesn't sound as bad and that's the one that had the welded relay so I'm wondering if the motor is getting hot welded the relay never shut off caused it to warm up burn it here regardless that motor needs replaced and if we're replacing that one you know what I'm just gonna write up to replace this one too but I'm not gonna bother testing that with the sound I'm gonna see if I can get some numbers off of this economizer cut and cap these and then I'm gonna go see if I've got fuses which I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna have fuses in fact I think I'll go down to the van right now and see if I have fuses I'll be back either with or without fuses I got fuses and I get a fresh container of orange wire nuts compliments of uh, United refrigeration in Youngstown only the best anyway I got this cut I'm gonna go ahead and cap my wires off right there all right I'm capped and taped off zip tied up out of the way so nothing will be popping any more fuses uh, while I'm here at least let me get this monstrosity put together and then we'll pop these fuses in and everything should be good to go after that yoink Guys, I got the economizer all buttoned up. I went ahead and bypassed it and disconnected the wiring. Got everything set up. So we're gonna go ahead and replace those fuses now. All right, guys, new fuses are in. Go ahead and button this up. So let me get these panels on and we'll go from there. I got some roofers here now. So they're killing my video. They got a leak over here where I'm working and he, as soon as they heard I was working on their AC, you know that old debate, the roofer versus HVAC tech. Anyway, I wouldn't want to be shoveling all this freaking rock. All right, boys and girls, the one or two of you that watch my videos, here goes nothing. We're gonna go ahead and uh, kick power on, make sure that our voltage is correct, and go from there. Hopefully nothing goes boom. Oh yeah, that's a good sign. All right, so it kicked on real quick and went out because the thermostat's gonna go into delay now, but that's definitely a good thing. 480. 480. 480, I like it. I like it. We're gonna jump on the blower first. Yeah, buddy, we got blower. Check the amp draw on that real quick. Three amps, looks good to me. Let me put the camera down, get this jumped out, make sure everything's gonna kick on. All right, all jumped out. 
Yeah, buddy. Both the compressors are running. Both getting cold. We've had no issues with this unit before cooling, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull my jumpers off. I wanna get the panel in. I wanna go down and make sure the thermostat's calling and go from there. So, let me get everything buttoned up. We'll be back. All right, everybody, thermostat's calling. Panels are in place. We found the issue at the uh, exhaust fan for the power vent. So we'll get all that quoted, come back and replace. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon, that'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming out. Leave me a comment, hit like. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one.